Welcome back to the Coco. Today we're going to talk about value chain. This analysis describes the activities within and around an organization, and it relates them to an analysis of the competitive strength of the organization. Therefore, it evaluates which value each particular activity adds to the organization's product or services. This idea was built upon the insight that an organization is more than a random compilation of equipment, people, and money. And only if these things are arranged into systems and systematic activities will it become possible to produce something for which consumers are willing to pay the price. Porter classifies the elements of the value chain in two sources. The first is primary activities which are inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, marketing, and sales, and service. The second are secondary activities which are procurement, human resource management, technological development and infrastructure. This analysis is useful for the decision-making process since understanding the relationship between these activities will lead to an understanding of the process and the administrator. administrators are able to delegate responsibilities among business units. Also, by using this method, companies are able to analyze their own value chain, analyze the customer's value chain, identify potential cost advantages, and identify the value cost of for the customer. Thank you for listening.